You know, man, anytime you play a zero-sum game where there's a winner and a loser, there's always potential for really high highs and really low lows. And with the sport of mixed martial arts, as well as any other combat sport where you go in there alone, um, you win alone, you lose alone, this happens all the time. And, you know, with sports like this, even though when you go into battle, it is just you versus your opponent. Um, and when you win, it's just you winning versus your opponent. And when you lose, you know, the world sees just you losing to your opponent. In the back end around are family, friends, coaches, trainers, people that love you, your fans. Everybody wins, you know, with you when you win and everyone loses when you lose as well. And I think those wins and those losses, they're so much more potent when, when you have kids, man. When you bring your kids to come watch you perform. And this is something that Kamaru Usman has done frequently. I believe uh, his daughter, she's eight years old. I believe she's been to pretty much all of his fights, especially after he became champion. We've seen her cage side. We've seen her in the cage over and over and over again to share with her dad when he goes out there and he dominates. But just a few days ago, he was on the other side of a dominant win, the, the, the side where you're the one unconscious. And his daughter had to witness that. And there are images of her being carried out of the of, of the octagon, not, not octagon, of the arena, you know, images of her crying, just being heartbroken based on what she saw. And it, it, that has to be such, such a difficult thing to deal with as a kid. You know, like I'm somebody that has two daughters and I'll tell you guys right now, I can't possibly imagine a situation where my daughters see me in that position out cold. I mean, this was not just like a regular stoppage. It wasn't like a TKO stoppage or anything. I mean, he got kicked right in the head. She saw him get kicked right in the head and knocked out. Now she's eight years old. She's still pretty young, but she's also old enough to understand what mixed martial arts is. I'm pretty sure she's had conversations with her dad where he has explained to her, you know, what it means to get knocked out, what it means to get TKO'd. You know, she understands what it means to be unconscious because, you know, she's been to multiple fights at this point. She's seen it happen. She's seen her own dad do that to someone else. So I'm pretty sure she understands it. So, so when she saw her dad in that position get boom, blasted on the floor, unconscious she she know she knew of exactly what happened she knew damn this is dad this is this is dad this is my this is superman you know this is my hero on the floor unconscious i i, I cannot imagine how she must have felt now i'm somebody that i i've seen i've seen a, a parent unconscious of course not not due to blunt force trauma my mom used to get sick a lot back home in Nigeria. And, you know, I've seen her in some very not good situations. I've seen her passed out, being rushed to the hospital. I've seen that. And these are images that definitely stay with you. Like, I'm 30 years old, and I still remember that vividly. And it is not a good image to remember whatsoever. Anytime it comes right back to my head, it's like, ugh, God, like, damn, man. Like, that's somebody you love, man. That's, that, that's your parent. Seeing them like that, so vulnerable, so just out of it. it. It's not, it's not a pretty sight whatsoever, you know. And um, I don't know what the literature says about how things like these affect kids. I can only go from my own experience. Um, you know, it's there, there's some kids that are able to see see traumatic things like that, like you know, see parents get killed uh, or see parents in accidents, stuff like that, and come out of it on the other side okay. But, you know, there's also kids, I'm pretty sure, that see traumatic events like that at, at a young age and never quite recover from it. And it goes on to affect them for the rest of their lives. So I'm only saying that because this is a really, really important thing to think about if you're a parent who's a fighter and you're thinking about bringing your, your kids to a fight. One, MMA is extreme violence. And for some reason, we as a society, when it comes to mixed martial arts, we seem to be, and just violence in general, we seem to be a bit more lenient with allowing kids to watch it. 
You know, we um that's my chair for those of you that are gonna troll me and say some crazy shit. Um when it comes to, you know, like sexually explicit imagery, for good reason, for very good reason, we're all very, very, very strict with that. We're like Hell no, my kids are not watching that shit. We're not letting that happen. No, 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 no. We are really, really aggressive with that. I mean, as we should be. But when it comes to extreme violence, it's, I don't know why we as a society, we don't treat it with the same level of aggression. Like we don't shield our kids from that. We don't hide that from them. We don't let them, we don't, we're not as strict with that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know why that is as a culture. And it's not just in the Western world, to be honest with you. It's it's pretty much everywhere. I mean, I grew up in Africa and it's pretty much the same thing. Like I saw extreme violence growing up. But um, you know, the sex one. No, 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 no. That's that's the one that uh I don't know what it is. I don't know. Um and you can't say MMA is not extreme violence. I mean Kamara Usman's daughter, I'm pretty sure, watched Luke Rockhold and Paulo Costa. That fight was insane. That fight is the definition of extreme violence. Both of them bleeding all over the place, battered, bruised, tired. Luke Rockhold on top of Paulo Costa, rubbing his blood all over, all over his face. I mean, literally just rubbing blood. I'm pretty sure she saw that, you know, and... No one's frowning on that. No one's like, yo, what the hell is this eight-year-old in here for? You know what I mean? Like, why why is an eight-year-old even allowed in the arena? Like, you know, it's... And Conor McGregor had, had some thoughts, too. You know, he had some thoughts. After, after hearing about it, he says, um, I feel this deep. I do not suggest bringing family whatsoever, especially the children. This is different fighting. I've done both sides of this and feel... Going to the mission solo is best. You can see family again post-battle. We'll definitely be continuing this way going forward. And honestly, I agree with him, bro. I really do. I, I don't think this is something that your kid needs to see. Um, on the other side of the argument, you know, you could say, hey, you know, this teaches them reality of life. It, it, it shows them what could potentially happen as Constantine in the comment section right here saying, at the same time, it's the only way for the kid to grasp the reality of why their father should be their hero. Uh, you know, I get it. You know, I completely understand. You know, you go out there and you get to see what dad does. It's a way to bond with dad. You watch dad kick ass multiple, multiple, multiple times. And she did. She's seen her dad absolutely kick ass multiple, multiple times. Because... When you go right here, I mean, you, this is literally her standing right there with her dad winning the championship. I mean, she watched him butcher, butcher uh, Tyron Woodley. She's seen that. You know, she was right there while Joe Rogan was interviewing her dad, while he was answering questions about the fight. She was right there enjoying the whole thing. You know, she was a part of it. It's a, it's a, it's a moment that she's going to remember. And she's been there for multiple fights. I mean, you, you see, look at that pictures. There, there are pictures of her going to multiple, multiple fights, being in the audience with her dad as they're watching fights together. I mean, this is something that they do. It's, it, it's, it's a thing that they both do together. Um, and so to see, for her to see, the other side, you know, for her to see that other side, the side of, the, the, you know, the part where her dad is, you know, just that's got to suck. You know, it really, really, really has to suck. You know, she's sitting there crying, you know, this image right here of I don't know who this is holding her as she's as she's crying after she saw that. Like this is this is crazy, man. I mean, this is nuts. Goodness, man. I just don't think fighters should be doing it, in my opinion. I, I just, I don't think they should be doing it. I completely agree with Connor that um, you just, you, it's not something that you should be doing. But hey, maybe you guys have a different opinion. Maybe you have different thoughts on it. Maybe you can let me know in the comments section. I, I just, I, I wish her the best. I know her dad is doing pretty good. Um, we've, we've heard multiple, we've, we've, we've heard from 
uh, Kamaru Usman already. We've heard from his his team that he's in good spirits. He's doing okay. Of course, he's a man. He's a fighter. He understands what he signed up for. He's put people away before. He understands that it was. it's only a matter of time before you fall victim to it as well. So I get it. But I hope his kid is going to be able to, you know, get past it. You know, I hope I hope she has all the support that she needs for that. But um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Um, do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in those comments, and I will definitely see you guys later. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good night.